Hello, my loves. Welcome to your monthly love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance, and love messages. Clarity, guidance, and love messages, please. For my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, January 2021, please. Okay, let's see what we have here. So we have the Five of Wands, and we have the World. We have the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Energy, and the Devil. Capricorn energy. The Nine of Swords and the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So Scorpio, what I'm feeling here is there's an energy of someone here is feeling jealous. There's like this constant energy of someone feeling unsafe unstable maybe someone feels like there's competition in the picture here but with the world card someone's done someone is really over it um i feel like someone is just stuck in their ways some of you may be dealing with someone who's older someone who's very controlling someone here who's tied to addictions could be lust could be uh drugs it could be anything um with the nine of swords and the king of swords i feel like Someone here is having a hard time because they're trying to make a head over heart decision. It's keeping them up at night. Someone here knows that this is a cycle that has to shut out. They know that this is unhealthy, but at the same time, they're having a really hard time making that decision. We have the chariot, Cancerian energy. And we have the ten of swords. Yeah, someone's making the decision to move on and walk away. Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. And the Eight of Swords. Someone here is kind of like, I don't want to say going crazy because that seems a little harsh, but someone's looking for information because they just know. It's almost like there's an itch that they can't scratch. Someone here knows that something is being kept from them or that something is going on behind their back and they're trying to find proof they haven't found it yet, perhaps, because the Eight of Swords is telling me that this is still just kind of in someone's mind here. But I feel like someone is making the decision to want to end this. We've got the Three of Swords. And the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I feel like someone here has met someone new. Someone here is sleeping with someone else. Um, I feel the trouble here is, is that someone can't prove it. We've got the Hierophant, Taurus energy, and we've got the Nine of Wands. I feel like promises here are broken. Um, I feel like it's becoming harder and harder to stay committed to this person. The Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, or maybe this person is has a hard time uh, being faithful. Yeah, Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. I feel like either someone here is having a hard time staying in this commitment and it's they're really having to hold themselves back from, you know, just leaving or someone here has a hard time being committed. They have a hard time, you know, not being a player. This is someone who has a lot of options with the seven of cups and with the death card, scorpionic energy. I feel like there's there's just this energy of. If this person tells you they're going to change, it's a lie. It's a lie. This person has very, very serious commitment issues. Very serious commitment issues, guys. This person is not... I just started sitting after the surgery. And... Oh, my legs are falling asleep. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Yeah. 
It looks to me, guys, like someone here is, um, I don't see this person committing. I'm not going to lie. I do not see this person being commitment material. Spirit, what clarity and guidance do I have here? Tell me about the five of wands, please. We've got the five of cups. The world card and the ten of swords. Give me one sec, guys. I am so sorry, but sitting is way too painful. Someone here... I feel like someone is going to regret making you so jealous, making you upset with the world card and the Ten of Swords. I do see an ending here. Tell me about this Emperor. The Emperor on top of the Emperor, the Devil, and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, this person will not budge. It's their way or the highway. You're dealing with someone here that has no interest in changing. No interest in changing. And if they tell you they're going to change, it's a lie. Nine of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Someone here is very stressed out over a third party. King of Swords and the Three of Cups. Someone here knows, like intelligently in their mind, they know that there's someone else in the picture. It's just that someone is trying to get their heart on board with the situation. The Chariot and the Six of Wands. Someone here knows that leaving the situation is where the victory stands. But with the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords, leaving might be hard. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, moving or walking away, it's not easy. Page of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Eight of Swords and the Tower. Aries, Scorpionic Energy. Someone here is going to dig for information until they're exhausted. And uh, I feel like they're, they may find it. With that tower card. Someone here has now found the proof. Three of swords and the page of swords. Yeah, someone's going to find out the truth. Ace of wands and the seven of pentacles. Someone has been spending a lot of time, money. You know what I'm saying? Time, money. Someone's been investing in, uh, in a new person. Two of wands and the hierophant. The nine of wands and the ace of wands. I feel like... I feel like someone may say, well, do you want them or me? But the bottom line here is with the nine of, we got the nine of wands here twice and the ace of wands. It's going to be too much. It's going to be too much. The, the connection is not going to be able to stand after this. The knight of wands and the four of wands, the four of pentacles and the star. I feel here that somebody wants the commitment with the Four of Wands. They want the stability with the Four of Wands. They still want to get married. They still want to do whatever. But at the same time, with the Star and the Four of Pentacles, um, this person doesn't want to give to the connection the way they should. This person is going to pursue their own desires and their own wish fulfillment. We've got the Seven of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, the Death Card, and the Hermit Virgo Energy. In order for this person to change, they would have to abandon all of their options. And that's why this person with the Hermit and the um, the Death card, they shy away from it. All right, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. And then this person just, yeah, they, they, they're not interested in change. Dark thoughts, intuition, and manifestation. So someone's intuition is really kicking off and it's causing a lot of negative thoughts, which then manifest into a lot of negative energy. We've got Milestone and the Loving Woman. So what I'm getting here, guys, is we've got one person that really wanted this to happen. Someone here had a lot of love. Someone here wanted to get married. Someone here wanted to have a life with this person. But it doesn't look like it's coming together. And that's why it's so painful to pull away. Anxiety, action, and patience. Yes, yeah, someone here is being patient with themselves. Because to take action and really leave and really walk away, um, it's rough. It gives someone anxiety, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes we get, even though a connection is dark and even though it's uncomfortable, let's just face it, we get comfortable. You know what I'm saying? We get comfortable. That's just the bottom line. We've got engagement and we've got playfulness. Someone here likes to be committed. They like to have their cake and they like to eat it too. They like to be engaged and they like to go play. 
That's what it is. They like to be engaged and they like to go play. All right, guys, I love you and take care. Bye.